Today we're making Easter themed cheese boards. The first one is budget friendly for a small get together and the second one is fit for a crowd. We're gonna start off with the budget one. For this one, I decided to choose ingredients or things that I can use throughout the week so it's not just for the cheese board. So of course, the foundation of a cheese board is a cheese. So I decided to go with Borsan cheese because it's a soft, spreadable one that everybody loves. And then for the second one, sliced sharp cheddar. If you don't use the whole thing, you can save it for sandwiches throughout the week. But what I'm gonna do is slice them into smaller pieces so that we could lay it out on the board. I love that these cheddar slices are nice and big because you can really stretch how far it goes by cutting it down. Now I'm gonna put this guy right here, kind of on the edge of the cheese board. And who would guess that this is sliced sandwich cheese? Not me. And then for the other half of the wedge, you could just arrange it in like a braid or something a little bit more designy. Whenever you do a cheese board, you really do have the artistic freedom to move things as you see fit. Just because you put it down one way doesn't mean that it has to stay that way. And because we use sliced sandwich cheese, I decided to go with deli ham for our charcuterie. It totally goes with the bourson and it's within budget that you can also reuse for a sandwich. Because the pieces of ham are so big, I can cut them into smaller cracker size pieces. And then I just roll it up. We'll tuck them in various places near the cheese, making kind of like a ham bouquet here. We'll use the rest of the items to reinforce it later. So now we move on to the veggies. I chose things, again, that you can use in your daily meals like sugar snap peas and rainbow carrots. I'm just gonna be slicing them in half so they're easier to grab and dip. Plus, having it open like this makes it just feel so springy and cute. These carrots are just so cute. I'm gonna cut some in half and leave some whole like this for decorations. But I'm just gonna be using half the bag and I can save the rest to roast it with some chicken for the rest of the week. There's a lot of orange colors going on here because of the cheddar cheese. So I'm just kind of spreading out the color schemes. Now I also have a cucumber and I think it would be fun to make a cucumber rose. So here we go. Just remove the wrapper, make sure you wash it and then we'll slice it really thin with a mandolin and then just roll it up. And the other one will go right here. Try to just slice it paper, paper, paper thin. At the checkout stand, there's always like small personal size candy, including these jelly beans. Then we'll add some chocolate covered almonds that takes care of the chocolate and the nuts component. They look like dark Easter eggs. I'm just gonna tuck them in where they make sense, like to fill in the gaps. That way they can hunt for these Easter eggs on the board. I have a kiwi, I'm just gonna cut it up in half. A little pop of color, of green. And then for the crackers, I just chose to go with this Everything Bagel seasoned bite-sized cracker because it's my favorite. So this looks pretty good as is, but I always love bringing in a floral element to my cheese boards because it just makes it a lot more elevated. And since it's spring, it's Easter, I feel like it's a must. I have these wax flowers, which are edible. Always make sure that you use edible flowers on any of your food. And I'll just cut some sprigs and place them here and there. So this is pretty good for a budget cheese board. Now let's move on to our slightly bigger and fancier cheese board. I'm gonna start with the two ultimate Easter candies that everyone loves. A gold chocolate bunny and peeps. Cheep, cheep. We'll move the peeps around as needed. So for the cheeses, I always go with a combination of soft and hard and some interesting ones. I have this creamy goat cheese brie, a caramelized onion cheddar, something interesting. We'll crumble it up as a head start for people. Then I have a bowl for our fresh mozzarella balls. These are marinated. Then I have a semi-soft port salute and a white Stilton cheese with apricots. Again, with the hard cheeses, I always like to break them up a little bit. Now for our meats, we have a special red Chianti salami. And since this is a cutting board, I'm just gonna cut it directly on top of it. So I'm gonna make a few different stacks. A nice little river going down the middle. Now we have some prosciutto. I actually really like prosciutto with this Stilton cheese, so we'll put them near each other. Always make sure you put complementary items next to each other. Now for the fruits and vegetables, I have a combination of grapes, strawberries, some sweet mini bell peppers, and 
cherry tomatoes, which I'm actually gonna put next to the mozzarella cheese. Slice up our bell peppers, steal some of my baby carrots from earlier. Of course, we're gonna have to put it near the rabbit and let it munch on it. Small clusters of grapes, easy to grab. Strawberries. I like just placing the strawberries all around because everybody loves strawberries. Now comes the really fun part, more cookies and candy. It's Easter. I have some macarons. I like these because they already come in like a variety of pastel colors and they just bring a really beautiful brightness to our cheese board. These bite-sized chocolate wafers. Whoop. A little bowl for our pastel candies. Then I have our crackers, some cheese sticks. These Parmesan crisps. Okay, now it's about creatively filling in the gaps, which as you can see, I have a lot. And I also forgot that I have this cucumber, so I need a little bit of greens in here. I cut my cucumber into spears so that they're easier to grab. We'll lay them near the carrots and right here by the tomatoes. Then I'm gonna add a little bowl of cashews. Then we have some dried mangoes gummies now we go back in and fill the board up with some of our favorite things so mine would be the strawberries grapes and these wafers then i also have these cracker assortments but i don't really like the way they look on a cheese board so i like to just serve them on the side but now i fill the spring easter touch with some flowers we have tulips and chamomile here i like getting these small buds with the leaves so that they add like a spring freshness and they're easier to tuck and since i have it my wax flower. Make it look as springy as can be. I'm gonna need help eating this, so who's coming over? Basically, this is our cheap on a budget cheese board versus our super extravagant and slightly expensive cheese board. This costs $25 to make this entire cheese board. I really tried to keep it around $20 and use things that you could also use during the week so that it doesn't all go towards a cheese board. That's how you budget meals well. Kind of stretch everything, you know? This was $150 for everything, including including these extra crackers, which I would serve on the side. Everything for this expensive board was meant to be used up for the board for the party because you don't really want leftovers. And even though $150 sounds like a lot for a cheese board like this, if you were to order it and get it catered, it would be at least double the amount, like three to 500. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which board you would try to create for Easter. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Does it look weird lopsided like this? You go, whoosh, and that like one. Yeah. Ay, 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 ay.